Hello everybody, King Casey here. Along with TJ Shakalos. And welcome back to Tournament 16 Recap. Oh boy. It's been a little bit. Yeah, um same 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 issue as 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 um as on the as with last episode, we're still working out some some technical di difficulties. But on the plus side, due, because of that, all of the set all, with all the second round matches now completed at the time of the recording, we're going to do each of the second round matches. Yep. So this so that means this is probably going to be a forty minute episode. Can uh, considering the length of every other episode up up until this point. Correct. So we got 16 matches to cover, and this is probably one of the best second rounds we've ever had. That's a tough thing call to make, considering, well, the last three tournaments have just been crazy. Yeah, but I mean, it gets crazier and crazier with every single bracket. So yeah, let, so let's just not um, straggle any longer. Let's just jump right into our first match. And and we're already turning the heat up to 11 with Sonic Fan versus Jack Fossil. Oh boy. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, can anyway, you... Anyway, do you want to start with Jack's team or shall I start with Sonic Fan's team? You, you can take so um, Sonic Fan's team. Sonic Fan's team is Sylveon, Charizard, Aegislash, Toxtricity, his partner Battlebond Greninja, and Zekrom. While Jack Fossil's team is, is um, Armado, Kabutops, a Dusk Form Lycanroc, a, a uh, Dynamax Lapras, Battlebond Skeptile, and the Adominus Rex. Incorrect. Okay, then. Jack. Jack actually swapped out Indominus Rex in between rounds. He instead he's using one of the other legendary fossil Pokemon. Its name is Blue. All right, it, um, it, um, interesting. All right, then. this fight is what we would call epic. Yeah, there's really no other words that that can um dis de describe it. This match was intense throughout the entire thing. And even, and especially since the fight came down between Zekrom and Blue, which ended in the draw. Once again, we had to go to Booth Review, and they decided Blue took the fall first, Zekrom wins, Sonic Fan advances, advances and that means the first first match of, of the second round. There goes the upset counter. Yep, and, and it looks like Sonic Fan pretty much pulled a same thing that 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 happened the last to um to tournament take taking out a very shut up. shut up i'm i'm gonna stop you right there i don't need i don't need more bad men. i don't need more taunting i'm not trying to i'm taunting i'm just pointing don't start i'm just pointing out the 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 um the, no. the Okay, fine. Okay, move, moving on. So Sonic Fan moves on to, to round three. Good job. Now moving on to to battle number two. We're gonna turn down the um, key a bit, but not too much. With 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 um a Cooler Ez versus Zula. This is a good match. Cooler Ez's team was Magmalon, a Shadow Torterra, his Gigantamax Toxtricity, his San his Santino, a Shiny Primal Kyogre. And his partner, Battlebond Scizor. All right. While well, um Zulai's team is is a um a Azumarill, Shiny, Honchkrow, Incineroar, Ray Rayquaza, Battlebond's a Lil Lilligan, and I didn't write down the 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 um uh, legendary Pokemon. Come on, man. You did write down the legendary Pokemon. You literally just said Rayquaza. Oh, I getting lost. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I'm really out, out of it. Anyway, so yeah, that's the um, the team. This fight was a pretty good match, especially since Zuli actually started with the lead. But Coolariza quickly turned it around. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty expected that Coolariza was was gonna take this, but it still was a pretty good a pretty good uh, match. The fight between Kyogre and Rayquaza was an 
was awesome, and the and an ending with the two battle bond Pokemon was was just as good. But in the end, tight matchup wins the day. Coolerizo will advance to back to the will make it, make it back to the third round, and this time he's facing Sonic Fan in round three, which will be a very close match to watch. Moving on to no doubt about that. moving on to battle number three, we have Kirby Fan versus Ardrangshu. Or are you Eh, whatever. Yeah. Kirby Fan's team is his Rainbow Greninja, a Gigantamax Charizard, his his special Berry Change Battle Ability Silvalli, uh, that's a mouthful, his yeah. partner Battle on Gallade, Rayquaza, and his special Real Lou. Yeah, so and and that's for arguing Bitu's team, he he had it. His um no no Naganidal, Guzzlord, a a Gigantamax, Grim Snarl, Mewtwo, Battle Bond, Gardevoir, and Silvala. If you're wondering what was the wise argument Bitsu's team was argument Bitsu's team being listed like that, that is the order of which his Pokemon came out in the battle. Yes, Silvalli was his last Pokemon used. Yeah, it it's really judge it's really just um up to up to switching. So, anyways, this battle was was and was one of my personal favorites out of out of out of the um second round. This fight didn't felt more like a ch more felt more like a ba chess match than a ch when it comes to play, and it came down to playing piece their pieces correctly. Are you going to put up a good fight, pitting Gardevoir against Gallade and Mewtwo against Rayquaza? The only problem was he didn't calculate for the end. Curry fan had already had him in checkmate since the beginning, since he saved Riolu for last, and ar all argument Bitsu had left was Silvalli. Long story short, Riolu beat Silvalli, and Kirby fan will advance to the third round. So, so good job, but to um, Kirby fan for making it to round three. Always um, excited to see that. And now let's move on to battle number four with Xavier versus Master Brendan. Xavier's team is a Galarian Darmanitan, Glaceon, Hydreigon, a Gigantamax Scorch, a Mega Gengar, and Lunala. Wow, Master Brandon's team is a Thor Pikachu, Infernape, Haxorus, a, a Red Devil Salamence, um, I believe it's a Mega Charizard Y? Correct. And, 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 and a Black Kiram. Overall, this was a good fight. Xavier put up a pretty good fight for, for still being pretty new. But yeah. in the end, the, the, the trainers with the more experience and power are going to prevent. Yeah, wow. In this game, Master Brendan was our winner. Yeah, so and so props to Xavier for putting up a good fight in, in Tournament 16, but he ended up losing to 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 um a rank trainer, which is which is which is nothing special. But good now, job. But the problem for Master Brendan is he gets another prize. He gets to go into a cage fight to be eaten alive by Kirby fan. Yeah. No offense to you, Master Brendan, but you're you're probably going. You're probably screwed. I mean, Kirby fan has pretty much been doing good in every single tournament that he's been in, so it's pretty much kind of fact that he's gonna win. But who knows? An upset could happen. But yeah, who knows at this point? I'm betting that. But yeah. anyway, let's move on to the next match. And this was definitely a interesting one. You want to go? You want to go vent about it to yourself, and I take this one solo. Unlike you, I'm not salty about my my Emma losses. Okay then. Well, this match, Casey took on rank five Kevin. Yeah, if you if you couldn't tell by my statement earlier, this didn't end well for me. But anyways, yeah. well, let's go over our teams for for uh, for this fight beginning with um with um Kevin. Kevin's team was Rhyperior, Gengar, Sceptile, Greninja, a Mega Garchomp, and his scary Golden Ring Rayquaza. While well, my team didn't change from last time, Barry changed Gartana, um, Legendary Silvalli, Gigantamax Blastoise, Battle Ability Zorark, Battle Bond Raichu, and Ultra Necrozma. Overall, this was a really good match. Quite possibly the best one of the week. You actually started with the lead, and then you made the and then you made the silly move of sending Blastoise into fight Sceptile. 
Yeah, probably, well, I was hoping that, that I could have uh, taken it out with Blizzard, but that really didn't work in in uh, in um, my favor. Put it simply, last week was way too slow, and, and Sceptile far outspent it. Yeah, but I'm but I'm not salty about this loss because Kevin is is stronger than than me at this at this current moment. But you do wish you could have gotten it at least to a draw to, to go to voting, right? Yeah, and and I was hoping I could make it to third round because if else because I could have faced Alexander, who I really wanted to. I'm get I'm back in, from tournament fifteen, but that didn't happen. That kind of sucks. But anyway, Kevin will move. Kevin's moving on to the third round. And now then, let's move. Speaking of Alexander, it's now it's now time for that match. Alexander takes on Alvin in Battle Six. All right, so Alexander versus Alvin. This is already shaping up to be a pretty good one. Alexander's team was Red Devil Salamence, Rainbow Greninja, his Gigantamax Very Change Garboder. He has his Battle Ability Gudra. His partner Battlebond Scizor and his legendary Xerneas. Wow, Albin's team was a Lord Arceus creation, Honchcrow, Skeptile, Gardevoir, uh, gig a Gigantamax Shiny Charizard, I believe. Yep. And and then um, of course his his Shiny Darkrai and a and his Battlebond Blaziken. Overall, this was an awesome match. Yeah. However. Remember when we said Casey could have had a chance to facing Alexander, but it never materialized? Yeah, I, yeah more ways than one. Yeah, I didn't mean that I could have faced Alexander because he moved on to round three. Quite the opposite. He also lost in round two to Albin. We'll just go ahead and use the upset counter now before we discuss the fight. Yeah, but I mean... There it goes. But, anyway. But anyway, it actually, actually throughout almost his entire fight, Albin had Alexander on the back foot for, for the majority of the fight. Yeah, while Alexander did have better firepower than Albin, Albin came in with with the better strategy. Pirate Honchcrow and his Shadow Sceptile were, were very clutch, and so was Charizard and Darkrai. Yeah, every member of Albin's team pulled uh, pulled good in this fight, and it was and it was um, power and it was enough power to take out Alexander. Meaning both. Not quite. The, the fight, the final battle came down between Xerneas and Shiny Darkrai, which did end in a draw. So it had to go to Booth Review, and as we said, Xerneas took the fall first, and Albin is moving on to round three to face Kevin. And my statement is that still, should be interesting. And my statement still holds true. Albin did did take out Alexander. Yeah. Yep. But I just want to but, comment on but, one thing. Upset counter. We don't need to place it again. Yeah. But I'm believing. Um. I just realized like this is the only a lot more draws have been happening in tournament 16 alone. I wonder why that is. Eh. Who knows? Maybe it's just so things. It's maybe because big people are getting more and more competitive, but you never know. Besides, there, this, with the conclusion of this match, this makes an even bigger hit. Both of the two previous tournament champions are now out of tournament 16, which means we will have a new champion this time around. Yep, considering both champions, me and Alexander, lost in round two, we are going to have a new champion, which is pretty exciting. That's a good thing, but again, there are still trainers in the tour who are still participating in the tournaments who already won it, who already won tournaments. Most big so example being not you. All, all newbies yet. Yeah, and I'm not just speaking of myself. There's Kevin and Steve too. Yeah, which are, I think, like the biggest three tra trainers left. Because after, because after Anthony got 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 eliminated a couple videos ago. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the, let's move on to battle set. And this was one of my personal favorites too. Not because that that it that it was super intense or anything. I just liked it. Well, that's because it was your parents going into a cage. Yep. Yeah, we have my, we have my mom versus my dad or Mike versus Janet. Yes. So I will start with Mike. Mike's team was Swellow, Raichu, Charizard, 
a Gigantamax Rilla film. His partner battled by Neuburn and Ultra Necrozma. And, and well, my mom's team was a way Porygon, Superior, Raichu, Gigantamax, Butterfree, Battle Bond, Sylveon, and a and a um Exernius. This was a really good fight, and it actually and it was an and it actually ended up going back and forth the entire way. That's some usually a good fight when it goes back and forth a good deal. Yeah. While my dad has proven has made it further in bracket before compared to my mom. My mom has obviously um, prepared for this battle, and it was, yeah, as CJ said, back and forth the entire way, and it was even more intense because my mom actually brought a legendary. Yeah, good. But in the end, Ultra Necrozma was too much. You take taking out both Sylveon and Xerneas. That is two fa fair, two fair fairy types, damn. Against one dragon. Probably new Smart Strike, just like the one in the Ultra games. Yep. I yeah. still have war flashbacks of that thing. That thing is but, a yeah, but anyway, Mike Mike wins this match and he will will be advancing to the third round. Now moving on to another match, we have Cynthia versus Game Master 25. Cynthia's team was Jolteon, Mimikyu, Gigantamax Lapras, Agron, her Battle Bond Dragonite, and another Xerneas. Wow, Game Master's team was Garchomp, Lord Arceus Creations, Charizard, Lord Lord Arceus Creations, Luxray, Lord Arceus Creation, Gliscar, Battle Bond Incineroar, and Urshifu. Uh, that Charizard was a very changed form, but close enough. Yeah, by by the way, I do my notes. It's, it's it is kind of hard to I'm telling. But anyways, yeah. This fight was pretty good, even though game like like before, Game S25 controlled the whole fight from the get-go. Cynthia still put up a pretty good fight. Yes, yes she did. It was a really good fight. But in the end, Urshifu defeated Xerneas, and Game Master 25 will face Mike in the third round. When I say face, I mean eat him alive. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm sorry to my dad, but I mean... It's Game Master! And the chances of an upset are not likely. So yeah, that's that's be, about right. That's gonna now, be fun to watch. Now we're halfway through the second round. Let's keep let's keep going. Yep, and and we're about twenty minutes in. So yeah, my calculations might be correct. Moving on to probably the the least intense match of the entire week. I don't know. I just. Look, I'm just looking at it is what I'm thinking, just by pure impression. Is Bolt versus Steven? Bolt's team was Staraptor, Dragapult, Volturn, it's a Christmas event Pokemon, if I remember correctly, a Gigantamax Charizard, his Battle Bond Greninja, and, and a Black Cura. While Steven's team was a Manectric, Beartic, Crocodile, Skeptile, Mega Charizard X? Why? Okay, why? There's two Charizards. And a... I can't read my notes again. Fantastic me. Um, what is it? Eternatus? Yeah, Eternatus. Sorry. Okay, that's a long name. But anyways, yeah, as I said before, this match was still good, but not as intense as the others in, in round two. I wouldn't say it's the weakest of the second round matches. I think we'll get to that one later. Yeah. But overall, this was a pretty good match that also went back and forth. But in the end, Bolt was the winner of this match, and for a newbie, he's going to the third round. Yeah, so still- Is he facing? Well, that's, the, that's to be seen next. Yep, so let's see what happens in our next match with, with um, TJ going up against his own dad and Tom. This was my personal favorite fight of the week. I mean- Clearly no bias. Alright, I, I am sorry about that fact, Cook, as we, we just had a few more te technical difficulties. The, the um, system still isn't fully online just yet. Well, let's hope, well, hopefully we get fixed eventually. Yeah. I'll probably won't until after the tournament, all the tournament recaps done, because Zeke's running amok. But, regardless, as we said, this I am facing my father in the 10th battle of this second round. Oh boy, like I said... This is my personal favorite. Again, totally not biased. <laughs> yeah, totally not sarcastic. Anyway, my team was still the same as the first round. Ghostion, 
in Alolan Gallade, Shiny Nagamado, Gigantamax Cinderace, my partner Gallade, and Ice Rider Calyrex. Yep, and while Tom Seam was a Crocodile, Braviary, Haxorus, a Gigantamax, a um, Duraludon, a uh, Mega Gallade, and a... Ooh, why is my Ultra hand... Necrozma? Yes, why is my handwriting so sloppy sometimes? Anyways, yeah, Ul Ultra Necrozma. This match was pretty damn good, I'm not go gonna lie. This fight was another back-and-forth struggle. Yeah, so, yeah, it was, like, uh, yeah, when matches tend to go back and forth, you know it's, it's, it's a damn good, good, um, fight. Yes, the icing on the cake for this fight was once both, both Gallades battled each other to a draw, once the final, once our final Pokemon came out, the music shifted. Which If you couldn't get my, with my father's avatar being a gym leader, we, I record. It was requested that this was made a little special. Which which also re um, represents how gym battles worked in Gen 5, which is a pretty cool nod. And speaking of how the battle ended, it actually went to a draw and into booth um, re review. Now most now most people were, were most of the other trainers are probably licking their chops thinking, oh boy, it's a draw, TJ's gonna lose in the second round again. Too bad, Sorry no. for struggles, everyone. No, that did not happen this time. Yep. I'm moving up for round three, and I'm going to go kick the crap out of Walt. Yep. Sorry, dude, but yeah. I, I've got a chip on my shoulder after last time. Yeah, Tom did not pull another to tournament Um, 15 on TJ until TJ moves on to round three. Besides, my dad beat Game Master 25 last time. That's good. Yeah, so anyways, let's move on to... to to the next match. We have Big Lou versus Dom. Oh yes! As we said, we're going through each second round match this time. Normally, after my fight with my dad, that's where it would have stopped. But we Not got this time. But we got six more to go, boys. Let's go! Big Lou's team is Snorlax, Sceptile, Infernape, another Gigantamax Cinderace, a Battle Bun Greninja, and Dialga. Well, Dom's team, I'm gonna try the OMS, I can't hear. Um, Dom Fam, Breloom, Braviary, a, a Gigantamax Al, Al, Appleton, which is a very interesting Pokemon, Suicune, and Battle Bond Dragonite. Yep, this was a really good battle. Big Lou actually had a lead for a while, but that was mainly because Tom, Dom's got a pretty blaring weakness to the fire type. Yeah, may, and maybe want to fix that up next tournament. But anyways, this fight was still pretty, pretty good, and eventually Dom did did turn it back around in his favor and ended up taking the match. Seeing Dragonite take down a Neolka was satisfying. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, that was pretty cool to watch. We don't really see um, Battle Ball Pokemon take out a Legendary in the final blow sometimes. It's normally Legendary versus Legendary. Yeah, but in the end, Dom won this match, and he will be advancing to round three. Yep, now moving on to, to, uh, to uh, the next match. Correct. This is, in my opinion, the weakest match of the second round. Ruhani versus Rudra. Yeah, now looking at the, yeah, this is also probably the, the, the weakest link, but it, but it wasn't bad. Yeah. Anyway, now for the teams. Ruhani's team was Venusaur, Zobali, Guzzlord, a Gigantamax Kaparaja, a Mega Charizard X, and a 100% form Zygarde. Wow, and while Rudra's team was Guzzlord, Corviknight, Zobali, a... Zobali, <laughs> a... Hey, I'm a Naganadal, Mega Gallade, and Ultra Necrozma. Overall, this fight was alright. It did have some good substitution, but Rudra got too big of a lead by the end of the match. Yeah, with 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 um Rudra um getting the victory over Ruhani and moving on to round three. He will be facing Dom in the third round, so that uh yeah, sorry, Rudra, but that's probably where your run ends. But anyways, what? moving on to... 
moving on to battle number um, 12, I believe we we are on, or 13. I think it's 13, actually. It's but, 12. Oh, it is? Okay. Moving on to battle number 12, we have... Um, yes, CJ versus Andre. Oh, yes. Another rematch from the previous tournament. Now, it's, it's, since we won't be getting Alexander versus Talon, Talon round four, this is a good... This is a good com com compromise. Yeah. Yeah, this was one of my um favorite matches to look out for in round two. And I gotta say, it damn delivered. Oh heck yeah. Now for the teams. CJ's team was a Halloween Venusaur, Batero, a legendary Noivern he just got this week. A Gigantonax Corviknight, his signature Mega Tyrantrum, and his legendary Eel. While Andre's team was a Hydragon, um, uh, Greninja, his third Pokemon, I cannot read, good job me again. Feraligator. Yeah, Feraligator, Charizard, uh, Gigantamax, Lu Battle Ball Lucario, and Mewtwo. Overall, this was a really good fight. Both of them brought their Pokemon they had just recently got obtained, and it was epic. Yeah, this was a very good match between two ranked ranked trainers and I actually going into this had my bets on CJ to win this but nope it actually turned around and Andre ended up pull, pulling the win which means there goes the upset counter again I think that's on like six now I don't know well it's three just from this week so yeah but anyways that was definitely one of my favorites of the entire week and with Andre yeah, <laughs> The fights between Tyrantrum and Lucario, and the battle between the, two, the between the new duo. Yeah, I just love the, this battle. Andre moves on to round three, and will end up facing um. We no. the winner of the next battle. Which oh boy, speaking of upsets, here we go. We have Toby Samba, the man who upsetted the master of upsets a couple weeks ago, and now Don't we. Remind me. I'm trying not to. I'm just announcing the battle. And and coming up, we have TJ's mom, Sandy. Will she be able to avenge the fallen talent? I'll let you take Toby's team first. Yeah, pretty obvious. So so Toby's team was Guzzlord, Aegislash, Silvalli, um, a, a, a Gigantamax Inteleon, Battlebot Scizor, and 100% Psygon. Now my mom's team was the same as last time. Nihai Ligo... Lilligant, Absol, Gigantonite's Hatterene, her Battle Bond Milotic, which is still scary, and a shiny Lunala. Now, I hate to break it to all of you, but sadly, yeah, no, I'm joking, um, to 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 Toby lost. Yeah, even though Zygarde versus Lunala went to a draw, and another draw, and it went to booth review, in the end, Zygarde lost, and my mom will be advancing to round three to face Andre. Now, most of you are probably thinking, oh, my mom's gonna get eaten alive. No. My mom's ranked. She actually fought. She's actually, she actually managed to beat at least half of Steven's team, which a lot of other trainers can't say. And, and she, her, her battle with Andre is going to be good. Yeah. Andre's gonna have a tough time dealing with my low kick. Yeah, I would love to see to see Sandy make top, top eight, considering the last time that she got this close was, I believe, at tournament 13? And then she met the brick wall that was Steven Mytel. Yeah, that's just upsetting. But anyway, Sandy will be moving on to round three to face Andre. That will definitely be a good one. And Toby, for a dog, he's really powerful. But he'll probably be back, so... Yep, knowing I would just love to see MC Nugget versus Toby Sama Tournament 17. Don't get your hopes up. I know. R random roulettes will do that. But anyway, it's time for the last two battles of the week. Starting with Battle 15, we have Nisha versus Steve. Yep, and this was a pretty good match, but let's get into the, into their teams first. Nisha used Empoleon, Sceptile, his Battle Bond Hydreigon, Lucario, Gigantamax Lapras, and Zekrom. Yes, I said Hydreigon third. That's when he used it. Yeah. While Steve's team was... Oh, God. Um, his, oh, okay, don't... Nicoraid? Yeah, Nicoraid, um, Ursaring, Ur Tyranitar, Battlebond, Skeptile, 
Battle Ability Guard, Flyscore, and Primal Zekrom. This fight was really good, especially since both of the trainers used their battle bonds early. Yeah. And but, as soon as the battle bonds went down, it's that time once again, people. Time to guess how many Pokemon Steve's Flyscore KO'd this time. How many? Let's count here. We it KO'd Lucario and Lapras. Eh, only two this time, but that's more than most others get. Get that's double of most other Pokemon yeah. get anyway. Yep. So that means Glasgow has has KO'd a total of six Pokemon this entire to to tournament so far, and it's only round two. Yep. Who knows how how long this counter will get later on? Yeah. But in the end, the battle between Steve actually started out with a pretty big disadvantage. But Sceptile, Gliscor, and Zekrom turned it around again for Steve. I've got a bad feeling that this is going to bite him later on. Yeah, considering who his um, opponent in round 3 is. Speaking of that, moving on to the final match in round 2, we have Max versus Jackster. You mean MHR, but okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why it looks like Max. I don't know why. Okay, moving on. Anyway, MHR's team is Aegislash, Tyranitar, Lucario, Hydreigon, Garchomp, and Dragonite. A pretty well-rounded team, just, again, no Mega, no Gigantamax, or no Legendary. Yep, while, while Jaxter's team, I'm gonna try to pronounce this first Pokemon again, my handwriting, a Naganadel? Naganadel, yeah. yeah. Okay, got yes. it. Okay, Naganadel, Greninja, Shadow Raichu. Um, winged Gliscor, his Battle Bond Decidueye, and his sixth Pokemon was not used. Which, as you saw in the first round, was Lucario's High Luck Hughes. But, yeah, Jaxter's the first trainer in this entire tournament to only have to use five Pokemon. It took until the sec until to, to the final battle of round two. That just shows how how more intense tournaments have gotten Oh. Over, over the overtime, we and we should have seen at least two of of those matches by now. Yeah, but as we said, Jaxter wins, and we all get a prize this time. We get to watch Steve and Jaxter go into a cage fight to the death. And Not that, actually to the death, but you yeah, get what I mean. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the best match of the entire to to tournament so far. I mean, trying to think of anything that could beat it, at least in the previous bracket. Um, you versus Kevin, obviously, but yeah, I, I don't mention that. Versus Jack, but for now, this that fight is going to be epic. That yeah. might be the end of the Glide Score counter you know, that, in that match, but who knows? Yeah, might though. I still got my my bets on 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 them, Steve. I'll save mine for later. But anyways, let's let's end off this episode by listing the rat the matches we got for round three. TJ, take okay. it away. No problem, Casey. For round three, we will have Sonic Fan versus Cool Reza, Kirby Fan versus Master Brendan, Kevin versus Alvin. We'll have Mike versus Game Master Twenty Five, Bolt versus TJ, Dom versus Rudra, Andre versus Sandy. And Steve versus Jaxter. That is looking out to be a pretty good round three. Oh yes, it is. Oh yeah, if y'all couldn't guess, next episode the next episode won't come won't be won't be be recorded until all of round three is concluded. Yeah, so how the rest of the season's looking, we're we're doing round three on its own and then uh, and then the season final. Yes, because some of us can't keep a schedule worth a darn. <clears throat> me but anyways let's wrap up this episode i hope you guys have enjoyed it this, this um, video look out for the next episode of tournament 16 recap in about a week or so just depending on how things go but anyways i i have been casey along with tj and we will see you guys in the third round okay it looks like tj had to leave early but that is fine all right everyone peace